Hi, my name is Kate and this is a new and done video. I've tried to shoot this today like five times and something technical has gone wrong a couple times so I'm um, with my camera. Um, so I'm going to actually just film it on my phone and hopefully that's okay. I'll try not to be shaky but um, I have just some really cool doing stuff and I really wanted to show you all and I only have so many hours on Saturday morning to make a video. That's I have three kids and my husband takes um, them all in the morning so um, yeah, this is how we're doing it today. So today I have to show you the Cami Tank, the Dylan Meadow Odessa, the Pierre, which is from like two years ago, I think. Um, but that's secondhand, so I'll talk about that then. The Slate, again, old, and I got this secondhand, but new to me. And then Narcissa, Monet, and then the beautiful Eclipse Nightgown, which I got my summer pre-order along with my Joanne Jane Top Elm and the Scout Short that goes with it. So a lot of these are items that um, I have had for a couple months, but I just haven't fit into a video. I've always like, like I'm always ordering or waiting for a pre-order. So I'm waiting. Um, I'm no longer waiting for Doan items currently. So I'm excited to show you these. And yeah, the last time I did a Doan video was four months ago on YouTube. So I thought I would show you everything I've got since then. Um, I'm wearing Cecily Banson, just in case you're wondering. I got this on sale from Netta Porte, I think, at Christmas time last, last year. This is like a really lovely style. I'll link, if they have anything similar, I'll link that in the notes below. Um, but I also have this Doan Adrian basket and my um, Mary Jane Ruby slippers, which I got off of the Doan Buy Sell Trade Group. So I'm going to start with these since I'm here. Um, so this came new with tags from the Doan yeah, BST Facebook group. Um, they're leather lined and then they're leather bottoms. So I've worn them just around the house, basically. What I usually do is I add some rubber here because this is a very delicate bottom. Um, and then I leave the heel. This already, this is already rubber right here. So then I protect it. Um, I love this style so much. I have these in sapphire, which, um, and this version are also like, I think the best quality done. Um, I've had a couple of these rip on me before, which Doan has like given me partial refunds to repair, but it is fabric. So it's not something that is going to like get you through like a big city walk. It's something that you wear for just a couple times um, during the day or like just like not a very long time um, as far as I'm concerned. So um, yeah, cause it is very delicate, but also very beautiful. But this is the ruby color and I just think they're just stunning. And then um, this is the Adrian basket. So this is handmade, which is unbelievable. I can't believe people have the talent to make this. Like, wow, I would love to learn how to do that. Um, so it's like a rectangular shape, which you can see. Um, it has two short straps. I don't really carry it <laughs> that often. Um, during COVID, this kind of is like at the bottom at my feet in the car or in a stroller or in a cart. Um, I'll show you what it looks like being carried. So I would carry it in my hand or like that. I've done actually a Kate Boss, a new Instagram called Kate Boss Edit. So this is, this is what you see the picture of. This is my selfie spot. Um, and I've done a review on this on there before. If you want to see my daily outfits, I post on there every day and then like reviews of extra things I get in like the nightgowns and stuff. Cause I don't wear those during the day, but it's something that, um, I would love to like tell people about. So yeah, this is what the bag looks like on. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't really wear a lot of bags right now cause I don't do errands. My husband does the grocery shopping. We don't really go anywhere because we're still at our cottage. You can see all my wilderness out there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're at home most of the time. I haven't bought any new bags during this time, which is fine. But this is all I need. And I just really enjoy this style of bag where I can just throw everything in, look quickly to make sure it's all in there. Again, it's light on the inside, so I know. I know what's there. Do let me know if you have any questions or sizing questions and comments like on YouTube, the YouTube notifications are kind of weird on my app. So sometimes I don't see them, but I'm always on Instagram and I see those ones all the time. So um, you can find me there if you're on Instagram, but otherwise just, yeah, keep asking me questions here. Um, I'll forget things like I normally do. Uh, I didn't even tell you the sizing of my Mary Jane, for example. So I'll go back to that and then I will show you um, everything else I got. So the Mary Jane are size, I think 38, 30, 
eight. I'm a seven and a half. So these fit really nicely. Um, I think the ballerina slippers fit actually a little bit bigger. So keep that in mind when you are looking for um, this style of shoe or purchasing this style of shoe. I'm pretty sure they're coming out with like a brown in September. So that's really beautiful. All right, on to these guys. I'll speak really quickly to the, the style and I'll show the detail up close and then I'll show you um, the try on on me in the mirror. So this is the Doe and Cami tank. It has this really pretty bow detail and then the scallop edging along the bust and the strap. This is in a size large. Um, and then this is the rosy sweet pea fabric. So this is the white background. They have one that's like more of a golden background, I think. And yeah, I will show you what this looks like on. So this is the cami on. So like I said, it's a size large and it fits. My measurements are down below in the comments. I believe they're 34 and a half bust, 30, um, 30, 31 waist. And then my, my um, hips, my widest part of me is 38. So uh, I wanted, I bought it because I wanted something to fit more loose in the waist. I don't like things too restricting in my waist for tops. Um, so I definitely wanted enough room there. And the measurements online were kind of confusing. They were like, oh, this is two inches wide, but don't worry, it stretches. <laughs> and so I was like, what? And uh, so I decided to be safe because the measurements were just smaller than what I'm used to wearing. Um, but it does stretch. So this is how much room I have in the large. So I could have, and yeah, I could have gone to a medium. It does, I've washed this, I've hand washed this before and it does go back to its normal shape and like, that's fine. Like it doesn't stretch out like at, with wear. So it's a really lovely fabric. Um, but yeah, so that's how much room there is. I could have gone down to a medium. So I would say stay in your normal size and it de just really depends on how you want it to fit. Like I said, I want it to fit a little bit loose, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I love the yeah, the scallop details. I think this is really nice. I don't do well with like classic pieces. Like an outfit to me has to have like some sort of pattern or something to it because I just feel like that's just more me. I'm not chic enough to pull off that like minimal, that minimal look. So I really like, um, yeah, this. I think it's really cute and lovely. Next is my meadow dress in this sienna color. So this has a square neckline, a really pretty bold puff sleeve, I think for the style, and buttons all the way down, and then it has pockets here, and it's a, a mini length. One thing um, on the Doen buy sell trade group, which was really nice, is people talk about the alterations they do, or some people have, and someone released the hem of this, and so they got their tailor to add basically an inch in length, and this is like a mini length. I'm 5'3", so I don't mind the length, but just in case you're looking for more length, uh, you can do that with this dress. So I'll show you what it looks like on. Isn't this dress cute? <laughs> so yeah, I would say this is a size small and I would say that the, um, puff sleeve is a little bit bolder than the, like, than it looks online at least. Um, I think it's really lovely. Um, I think it's flattering on me. I have small shoulders and like a wider bottom half and with this dress, so I feel like this balances me out. Um, but yeah, this is really lovely. The pockets do fit us like an iPhone. Um, I can't show you that because I'm recording on it, but this is just a really lovely style. It's breastfeeding friendly. Again, I'm 5'3", so this is the length on me. And I just think this is a really lovely summer option. If you like this, I don't know what they have in stock. I haven't checked today. But if you like this and you want something kind of similar, you should check out Oak Meadow, oakmeadow.com.au. They're Australian. They have some like similar-ish styles to to this. Um, they're like whimsical. They're like don't want to ask, but they're like whimsical and they've really beautiful prints. Their flower prints are so beautiful and feminine and they're just like a boho style. So they have one that's like a daisy flare. So it kind of has, it has a puff sleeve. The sleeve is a little bit different. And then it has two buttons here and then it's like white and it has this like red um, daisy print on it. It's so gorgeous. So go check that out. It doesn't have pockets, but it's uh, it's like a similar um, silhouette, I would say. But yeah, this is really lovely. I like the sienna color a lot on this. Let me show you the um, print really closely. So this is the print. You'll see like little mushrooms and butterflies and I like the brown leading into um the fall I think it's gonna be a really nice transitional piece if you add like boots and um like a jacket or a sweater
My beloved Odessa is next. And this style is actually originally a nightgown. So it's really comfortable. It has a really lovely stretchy um, neck. And then it has this contrast stitching, which I really love. This fabric is my, like out of the sienna and the blue, the blue is my favorite because it has this really light blue background. Oh, the mushrooms, aren't they cute? Um, so I just love this fabric. I love this print. It's a very light poplin. So that's what it sounds like. I have a friend who doesn't like loud clothing. <laughs> so that's for you. <laughs> um, but it's very thin. Uh, not too thin, like it's opaque. So it's not see-through. Um, this one has a rolled up hem. So it's not the same as um, the meadow where you can add length to it, which is too bad. The people I've talked to about it say it's too short. The people who have had to return it. So I think if don't wanna, if you're listening, uh, people really want like an inch or so more of this. I'll show you what this looks like on. But the sleeve is super comfortable. Um, like it was made for a nightgown. I think this is like the perfect nightgown sleeve. Like they should replicate this on all of their puffy sleeve nightgowns. I have the uh, eclipse that I'm going to show you and the, the sleeve is somehow just a little bit tight. So this would have been perfect if they just copy paste onto that style. But again, fabric changes like this is a cotton voile and then this is a cotton poplin. So that changes things, but the perfect sleeve. So if you're looking for a really comfy short nightgown, um, you should try this style. This is the Odessa on and this is just a lovely simple style but it's just so there's so many goodies to it it's designed really well sorry my, my dog is snoring so you can hear <laughs> him sometimes I get so jealous of how you can fall asleep anywhere but um yeah this dress is just so nice I think I would love like a longer version of this like if they come out with a nightgown like that because it's just so comfortable has a slightly puffed sleeve the neck you can see is beautiful and the stretchy. You can breastfeed in this. Uh, I try not to breastfeed too much in these because they do stretch out after some wear, like my Lovisa. So I I do the old elegant um flip the whole dress up to <laughs> to breastfeed my son, but he I only breastfeed him a couple times a day. Um, but yeah, that's what this dress looks like. I really like this. I have some navy over the knee boots that I'm really excited to pair this with that are at home. Um, so I'm wondering if I can turn this into something that's a bit more fall. I'm thinking of fall. I love fall. So I'm going to be that person talking about it all. I like, like the lattes that go along with it. But, um, yeah, this is the Odessa in a size small. I'll have all the sizes in the links below and the notes below and links to these or similar items or at Net-A-Porter because they have like some really beautiful new things in all the time. Next is my Doen Pierre dress. This dress I got secondhand off of at Doan Secondhand, the Instagram account. I'll have that link below. Um, and this is really beautiful. This is actually, I think, from 2018. And this came in a blush, too. And I owned this at one point, but I returned it because I'm super silly and I changed my mind. Um, I'm not sure if you're also like that, but I, I sometimes have really bad first impressions. I um, sometimes think it's great or sometimes think it's bad. And then I like this, I thought I'm like, ah, it's okay. And I returned it and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that. And then someone reminded me as I said that I didn't think the print was special enough. So I was like, oh man, like it's funny how your style evolves and I don't know, you're just like a human and you change your mind. So anyway, so happy that this came back into my life. I paid for an ISO, an in search of, which is this lovely service where if you're looking for something and it is listed, you get first dibs. So thank you so much for that. Uh, Gori, Gori, I don't know how to say your name, but that's the woman who is behind um, that account and she is just absolutely lovely. So this came in and I'm so happy. This was listed the same day that I asked for an ISO and this is the beautiful fabric. I don't think it's that not special. I think it's really nice. Um, and I believe this is cotton viscose and um, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on. And this is the um, Don Pierre dress. It's like um, modeled, I think, as a midi dress, but on me, it's a maxi. So I might, I might get it hemmed. I'm not sure if the length bothers me so much. Um, but yeah, it's a halter style. They came out with two new, well, one new style and two new colors, the Thorough. And you could, you can buy the light version right now. It has ties right here. And then they have, um, a darker version that's coming for their next launch. And so I had always wanted this dress back and like was waiting on the real real or for it to just like happen magically and it never did and then the thorough came out and I'm like man I really want this dress and so I did my ISO and yes like I said best is history so this is yeah sold to me this is an extra small I think I could have done with a bigger size or more room right here I think it 
I think it fits fine. I can like, could probably do a push up in it. <laughs> what is the standard for, for that? But it fits throughout the body very well. Um, it has this really lovely ruffle here and at the neck and then it has smocking that's not stretchy and then a really pretty um, piping detail right here. And then this, the longest um, waistband in the in the world, this wraps around me a couple times, but I actually really like that detail. I think that's really unique um, and different. And then that's what, it, yeah, that's what it looks like. Just loose, loosey goosey. Um, it's a very pretty blue. Like I said, it comes in a blush too, which I wouldn't mind grabbing. And just a very pretty, very pretty summer dress. Um, if you're looking for this style, yeah, like I said, the thorough is coming out soon. Late nightgown, and this is a size medium. Um, I have this in a large, in a small, and in a large in the white, sorry. Yeah, medium. And I love this nightgown. The way I, what I like with sleeping is I usually wear just like a really soft bra. This is, this is little TMI. But I wear, um, I need a, just like a little bit of support ever since having children. And... And the nightgown, like the slate, the empire waist helps with that. The And that's why I wanted the eclipse. So I really wanted this color and that came up on doing secondhand. It's a little bit more worn, I think, than what the woman who sold it to me disclosed. But it's like really good quality. I have the white one and it has, um, and it's lasted me through like lots of like hand washing and lots of sleep. Um, well, little sleep. I have one kid that doesn't sleep well. But <laughs> um, it's very good quality. And yeah, it's a poplin. And it's, yeah, look at this pretty, pretty detail. So I'll try this on for you. This is a maple color. And I don't really know if that's the right color to describe it. It looks more pink online or they just, I think they've described it as pink before. And it looks a little pink here, but it's definitely more brown than pink. I'll show you. Is the slate on? Isn't this lovely? I just, I love this dress so much. I smiled as soon as I put it on. Um, you can definitely wear this out like it's it's a very it's a light poplin, but it's not see it's not see-through So this is something that you could do um, Morning today um, Like sleep today. Um, I think you could be quite fine with it depending on like your comfort level with the bus I have my bra on right now um, So I'm not that comfortable <laughs> with how low it is. But uh, Yeah, I think you could definitely layer, layer this with like a shirt and be completely fine. But yeah, this is how low it goes and it's just, yeah, it's a little bit loose. It has to go over your head. Like I said, you have to pull it on over your head, your bust, whatever you need to get it over um, to get it on. And I think this is so pretty. When I first saw it, I think they advertised it like a year ago. I thought it was um, very fussy for a nightgown or just like, it was very romantic, but I just wasn't into the, their nightgowns yet. And now I'm just like very into their nightgown. So I think I'm always gonna try one set whenever they release it but i think this is just so beautiful like i said it's a medium i had the large i might try and get it altered but if you see the details like it's so nice i'm not sure how i'm gonna alter it the white one to make it smaller like the rosettes are so pretty and the lace is so pretty it's very romantic so if you if you really like that style um of nightgown or pajama you might like this I might, cinnamon? What would you call this color? No, maybe maple's right, but this is it. Very pretty. Next is my Narcissa, and my friend got this particular one, and she was obsessed with it, so she's telling me all about it. It's Raimi, and she said it fits small. So this is actually a large. I got this during the warehouse sale, and I was so happy to do that because this print is so, like, look at this. This is art. This is so beautiful. The citrus, the illustrative detail around it the line drawing is so pretty I've always liked this print and it came in a dress I got the other version of it I forgot what it's called it's like the short sleeve Charleston and I just thought this print was really pretty but in the dress I thought it was might have been too much so I'm really happy to have it in this and I, I feel like it has like really cool vintage vibes um so I'm gonna show you what it looks like on this is so cute so this is yeah like I said a size large um, my, I think, did I mention my, my measurements? If I did, I'm sorry. I don't, I'll, I'll have those in, in below, but, um, yeah, this, it's, it's Raimi. So I think it, I'm wondering if the Raimi pieces fit smaller because I have the Sparrow and Raimi 
and that I have the large in that one too. Um, I actually like that one for the length. And this is a short, so this is a short top. I'm 5'3", um, so size up in this one. Um, but I think this is really flattering. Look at this style. Like this is a lovely like puff sleeve. You can see how sheer it is. I In my Kate Boss edit Instagram, a lot of my second photos, so not my main one, but my second, you can swipe to see different um, uh, angles or close-ups of it. And I like to stand like this in my second picture to show the sheerness because with Doen, a lot of their stuff is sheer and I get a lot of questions about sheerness. So that's why I'm always posed like this, just in case you were wondering. Um, that's my way of showing how see-through it is because you can see my, my arm. So yeah, saying that I have a nude bra on. I'm not sure if you can see it. I need my glasses on. But um, this could be work appropriate depending on... Um, what you wear underneath yeah I think you could do it but yeah this is really just pretty I love the vertical pleating and the pin tucking I think that has like a really nice effect and then this part on the waist which it all gathers to so yeah you can see how sheer it is with my jeans underneath actually so that's the sheerness level and I really love this done all the way up too like, I think this has a really nice silhouette. And this is probably one of the only tops that I would definitely only wear untucked. I usually love to tuck in my tops, um, especially my blouses. But this one is not too long on me. And looks so cute untucked. And then I think, like, you'd have to have pants up to your, like, boobs to be able to hide that if you wanted to tuck it all in. So that is an option. But I think if you only if you have, like, really high-waisted um, pants that you can you can do that doen warehouse sale dress um this is the monet in the i think i call the cottage floral so it's a brown background and then it has this like pinkish floral and a white background i didn't know what i thought of this print when it first came out um i'm not really drawn to brown in general brown usually doesn't look good on me i think this looks good on me and i wonder if that's because there's more colors in it yeah, I wasn't sure about this, but I really love this style. So I decided to take a chance and grab it. Um, again, my friend told me that this fits small. Um, she has the blue version. And so I went up to a size large in this. And it's a little big on top, so I'll show you what that looks like. But otherwise, I'm really happy to get like a brown dress for fall. Because I wanted the Charleston that's coming up. But the Charleston in the plaid. The Charleston style, I don't love to wear um, all day. So I'll show you this one. This is the Monet On. Um, so you can tell it's, it's a little bit big on me, but it fits me on my waist, which is about 30, 31 inches um, really well. That's exactly how I would want it to fit. It's not, it doesn't have too much room, but it's like, like I can breathe in it. And like, this is the part that like, you know, like I eat something in a day like this expands. So <laughs> I would like this to fit perfectly right here, but you can see in the sleeve and the shoulder that it's just a little bit big. I think the shoulder can be fine, but what we... What we can do, what I can alter, is the cuff. Um, and then you can roll it up to also make it look a little bit more um, form-fitting to make it fit a little bit better. Um, I do have to say that this is a large and it's too bad that this size, is, this style isn't more size inclusive and I know the Doan is working on that. But um, I, yeah, I know that they're adding some more sizes but it just makes me kind of sad that there are people out there who would probably love to wear this and this size doesn't exist for them. So it's a problem with a lot of fashion brands and I hope Doen continues to fix it. I've heard them talking about that but I just wanted to acknowledge that and that we should all talk about size um, inclusivity um, with whatever brand that we are um, because there's, yeah, a lot of people like my friends and family who would like to wear this dress, but it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't work. And I just, everyone should be able to wear what they want. This size should exist. <laughs> this size should exist. Um, but again, all, our bodies are made a little bit differently. So I will, um, if I can alter it, this is final sale because it's a warehouse sale thing. Um, then I can try my best to do that with this dress, me particularly with this one. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what this looks like with the cuff a little tighter because what you can easily do, I can show you, is move the buttonhole. You just move like move the button to make it tighter and um, and that will work really well to make it look a little bit better. So I'll show you what that looks like um, right now. So I'm not sure if you could see the difference there. I just pinned it with a pin to make it smaller. But maybe if I do this, I need a different background. <laughs> Everything is floral. So maybe I do this so you can see there. 
and then I can do, I'll show you my other side, which is not pinned. You can see the difference. And I think that does make a difference. And now I'll show you um, what that looks like um, rolled up. All right, and there's the sleeve rolled up, which looks a little bit funny because it's pinned right now, but um, it's actually nice because you can roll up the um, ruffle. And so I think that looks kind of cute. So if it's pinned and rolled up, I think the sleeve works. I don't mind the low armhole. And then if I hem it, I think that'll make a huge difference because it always does. So that's how I'm making this dress work for me, um, just because of how my body is. And that's it. Oh, this is so nice. This style is so beautiful. Um, I love the, the print. I think it's such a pretty dress. Okay, the uh, Eclipse. So this came, this nightgown came in an Eclipse and a, um, in the Eclipse style and the Harbor style. And so the Harbor has like, is sleeveless. And the Eclipse has the puff sleeve, but they have, I'm pretty sure, the same bodice style. So this is an Empire waist. This is stretchy right here and stretchy at the top, so you can breastfeed in it. I mean, it's made of cotton voile, so it's see-through. You can see my hanger. It's semi-sheer, um, which I don't mind. I think a lot of people were expecting to wear this as a dress um, because you saw the model wearing it out, and it's so pretty. Like, who wouldn't want to wear this out as a dress? But I think it's, I think it's pretty sheer to do that. Um, I got this, I, I had a good idea of how sheer this would be because I have the Lovisa, which is the same fabric and I actually compare it in my Kate Boss edit and you can see that the Lovisa, this one is a little bit more sheer than that one. So it's a little bit different of the fabric, but, um, it's a beautiful style. I'll show you what it looks like on. And then this is the Eclipse on. I think this is such a pretty style and it feels, it feels like a cloud on. It's just like my favorite. I knew I would love this because I have the Lovisa and I love that as a nightgown and I wanted this as the same thing. Um, and it's just like a little fancier with the, the sweet little, the sleeve. So I'm wearing um, nude underwear, which you can see the side of in a bra right here. I got this in a medium cause I wanted, I was hoping for a little bit more fabric here um, to add like to be less sheer, <laughs> but that doesn't really work, which is fine for now. Like. All my kids are young enough where they're not telling me to put my like, butt away yet. <laughs> so I'm sure that's limited. So right now I'm going to enjoy my sheer, my sheer nightgowns, which I love wearing. And then, um, yeah, so this is stretchy, easy to breastfeed in. Um, this could be off the shoulder if you wanted it to. It feels a little loose. I feel like if I went up a little bit more, um, this would be a little bit too loose. But then, yeah, let's see if I say, I think it's just a little too tight for the style. So hopefully that's something that they change if they do this again I would do a looser I would do a looser sleeve because my arms are um again very just like average it's not it's not an area that I usually have an issue with on sleeves at all actually with clothing so I think that's something that they're gonna have um they're gonna hear about from everybody and if you have feedback I think that's fine to tell them about it it only makes the product better I know a lot of people who don't want to inundate like them with um their email inbox actually right now it's very big but I think feedback healthy feedback um is good so hopefully that is something that we can change and we can all get like the perfect nightgown someday. Something maybe a little less opaque for the people who don't like the sheerness um, or something a little bit like the elastic is just a little bit better. So anyway, this is it. This is really pretty. If yeah, like it feels so lovely to wear. I just love this nightgown so much. Um, and I will continue to get the cotton foil <laughs> nightgowns until, like I said, until the sheerness is a little bit too much for my family. <laughs> But um, I just think it's nice. Um, I know someone, people were trying to make this work for wearing it out. Um, I don't, I personally don't wear slips. Like I don't like slips. I have them, but I don't like wearing them. So I wouldn't wear this one out. But someone suggested the idea of lining the skirt. And I think that's a great idea. I think you can get away. Like this isn't a true nude bra. Um, I have some that blend in a little bit better with my skin. So I think you can definitely definitely get away with it if you line the skirt like line it from the skirt down if you really want to wear this dress out um but yeah this is just a really lovely lovely style all right and then this is the jane in the pink bijou floral and the scout man man that jane is so hard to show on a hanger it does not look nice <laughs> this is such a voluminous style so you'll see what this looks like on if you haven't seen it on before but it's it's very lovely i i love that they made it into um uh nightgown into a pajamas and then this is the scout short so this is a size medium and this seems and it, it arrives like this so it seems very comically 
large. It's like one of those things where, remember the old cartoons where they would like steamroll something and it was like dramatically flat? Like that's, that's what this feels like. So the top is mostly drawstring. It's actually, it has a little bit of elastic in the back here. Um, so I think I could have gone down to a small on this. I really wanted things to be comfy and I wanted this to be worn as a pajama um, bottom. So I went, and the, again, the sizes were so confusing because they were just like, um, I think they measured it as the widest possible. And let, let me show you how this looks flat. <laughs> this is what it looks like flat. Um, and I'm laughing because it, it's just, it just seems so dramatic for a medium. And uh, this is the hanger, just so you can see um get an idea of the sizing but i assume what they did for the measurements they measured here to here i'm so, i've worn this like all weeks i love you so much that's why this is curling but and then they were like but it does get smaller so that was the confusing thing on the sizing there but um yeah that's exactly what happens but uh so another thing so yeah let's just talk about the print i think this is so pretty this is called the pink bijou floral and it's, again, semi-sheer. You'll be able to see that in a minute when I try everything on. Um, they make it in a blue baby Kate, which is apparently more sheer than this. So this is the less sheer version. And look at this, this detail. Oh, so pretty. So I got this because I thought it looked very flattering. Again, it was on the same model, the Hawaiian model. I think she's Hawaiian, a Mali, Malia. The shoot was in Hawaii. And um, I just thought the details of this were so beautiful. And it just, like, it was the first thing I bought was this set so and I love how this looks on so I'll show you I'll show you that now and this is the set on so this is the yeah scout short and then this is the Jane and the pink bijou and isn't it cute I think this is such a, a cute set it's very voluminous um sheer I like my Janes to be sheer because there's a lot of fabric otherwise I think you lose your shape in them but they definitely make non-sheer ones I have the one in the Austin plaid a lot of their plaids aren't sheer, I would say. Is that safe to say? Um, and I think they have it in a floral right now, so they have different options. But I think this is just a very, very cool, very cool style. It's one of my favorite styles from them. Um, yeah, so this is the drawstring. So the only complaint I have about this drawstring, the way they did it, is like it, it gets so big. Um, and like when you're, this is personal, but when you're going to the washroom, they'll, they'll like fall to the floor. And I don't really like my my clothing to fall to the floor when I go to the washroom. So I'm kind of going to the washroom. Sorry, I shouldn't act this out. And then I have like one hand to try and hold it up. And it's just like, it's awkward. <laughs> so that's my only complaint about it is that I, I think there should be a little bit more elastic um, to hold it up um, normally, maybe on the sides or maybe they should do elastic just on the back. I'm not sure how to, how to fix it or maybe just very loose elastic in general and have the drawstring because I've, I've liked their pieces where they've had both elastic and drawstring before. Um, and Inikachu does that and I really like it. So that's my, that's my only thing. I love this. Set. I've been wearing this all week. I had a really bloaty week. Um, so this is like a really lovely set to wear that it wasn't pure white. And sorry, my stomach is, I'm star I'm starving. <laughs> so my next stop, I just think this is so flattering and so pretty. Like I've never had such a pretty set of pajamas before. I really, oh, well, like I have the nightgowns, but not like pajamas like that. But yeah, that's it. One thing I almost forgot to show you is the heron shorts. I have them all wrapped up to um, return because they're just a little small on me. So this is the heron short in black in a size six. And they're just a little tight on me. Just too bad because I thought the measurements um, were correct. But I guess the waist is fine, but it's just right here. It's a little tight on me. My love handle area. <laughs> so depending on how your body is, I guess maybe size up in this. That's, um, yeah, that's the advice I have. So this is how it does up. So there's no zipper. Um, it has one, two, three buttons. And then these, these buttons here and then this. So there's a lot of closures to it. Um, so make sure you go to the bathroom on time. But I'll show you what these look like um, on. So this is the Heron short on. So you can tell they're, I'm just like, <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep these on. So I definitely need to go up a size. They pull on the pleats up here at the top and then definitely on the back. So 
I need to go up a size. I might try the Oberon, not Oberon, the Cobalt pants. Um, someone who's 5'3", highly recommended them. So I might do that for the fall. Um, yeah, I got these just a little late. Um, I think everyone's pre-orders were a little late. So, and it's getting cold here already in Canada. So I'm like, oh man, I, I should probably switch to the pants versions of these. But I really like the shape of them. Um, I have big thighs. I find that a hard place to fit on me. And I like a really high rise, so I think the pants would be really good. So it'll be enough room in the leg for me um, when the size up. And then hopefully, hopefully that'll be okay for a size eight. We'll see if it'll be too long or out of proportion. But I definitely want to try that um, for the fall. But otherwise, I think these are super cool if they fit you right. If you can wear shorts for a while or if you're looking for shorts, if you're going somewhere warm, if you can. Um, this is cool. They have a pocket. And they're made of like a thick cotton. So they're a substantial fabric. And yeah, I just love the shape of this. It gives me like an hourglass shape, which I'm not used to having. I'm like, oh, this is nice. This is what having like curves is like. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I, I think this creates a, a really nice uh, feminine shape that, uh, that I welcome actually. This is really nice, but I'm not used to. But yeah, this is cute. Going back though. I wish they fit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you got a lot of information from it um, to help you with um, any decisions that you were looking to make. Snickers, it's okay. And um, yeah, I'll ask if you have any questions, please let me know uh, if you want clarification or if I maybe I've misspoke. I don't get a lot of sleep these days. So um, hopefully I said everything correctly. Um, but yeah, just ask me questions on here on Instagram. Like I said, I'm more, I'm on Instagram a little bit more often and yeah i'll see you next time i this was fun so hopefully this uh we can do more of this again <laughs>